what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about the black phone 2 in this video here today so the black phone 2 is the upcoming sequel to the black phone the sequel that many people are confused about because of the ramifications of what went on in the first film some people find it unnecessary others like myself who also might find it unnecessary understand why it's happening the first movie was made very cheap and it was a box office hit so business it's all coming back to money now, Scott Derrickson appeared on screen during New York Comic Con to tease the Black Phone 2. He stated, while the first film is a middle school coming of age story, this film is a high school coming of age story. You don't say. So that means we should expect Finney and Gwen to be in high school this time around. Scott also revealed that filming starts in nine days now what i'm mostly going to go over in this video is some plot details very brief plot details and share my thoughts on this as it as it pertains to who could be playing who and what they might be doing with the black phone 2. so the black phone 2 we know will be bringing back ethan hawk to return as the grabber the person who died at the end of the first movie <laughs> the killer mason thames madeline mcgraw Jeremy Davies and Miguel Mora are all returning to reprise their roles. So, in September or so, I think, Damien Bashar was also cast. That announcement, again, I believe, came around mid to late September. No major plot specifics have been revealed, and it's unclear how exactly the grabber is being used if he died at the end of the first movie. However, I do have some rumored details about what this film could be doing with the grabber and some flashbacks that appear to be on the way. First and foremost, I hope we are not doing a deep dive into the grabber's youth, but if we are, do not make us feel sorry for the character. There is a certain way we can do this without making us feel sorry for the grabber. I would like to see the grabber re like I just must restore that mystique or maintain that mystique do not throw it out the window in favor of telling the story of how trauma passes on to, to other people who do not deal with their trauma we don't need that you can do it in a way that does not make me feel bad for the grabber let the grabber still have something intimidating about him let me still ponder about things about his life let me just put the pieces together myself now i say that because it would appear and we can see whether or not this will be a fortunate or unfortunate thing once the film drops but the black phone 2 was or still is actively seeking someone to come in and play a 19 year old version of the grabber now the only thing i can theorize about this is we still will get some answers on if the grabber had the same supernatural gift as finney and Gwen through these flashbacks because there are bits of dialogue that seem to tease that i think one of the kids does mention the grabber can hear it too in terms of those voices in the phone ringing but he's just in denial why is that what happened in his childhood maybe we're going to get that answer perhaps he was abused by his parents or his father and that's what drove him down the path to inflict to inflict pain on other children and reenact the same things his father or whoever inflicted on him when he was an innocent young boy in terms of flashbacks beyond just going and going and seeing the grabber as a young teen the black phone 2 was or still is seeking talent to play in a youth band for scenes set in the 1950s at a church they need a guitar player someone playing bass and other instruments now could the grabber have been someone dedicated to the church in his youth there's so many different things that these flashbacks could be doing as it pertains to digging deeper into the grabber that i hope wish and pray are done effectively enough that it maintains the mystique of the character and doesn't make me feel so sorry for him that the terror he brings goes out the window now the other 1950 scenes seem to be revolving around kids at camp as well now the grabber could be someone at camp but i doubt it because it seems to be mostly pre to early teens that are at this camp here's the most interesting part to me when it comes to these plot details the black phone 2 is or was also seeking someone to play a 30 year old version of damien Bashir's character 
His role, as reported by the reputable trades, is undisclosed. So we don't know what his role is or who he's playing. But I'm thinking he's either a camp counselor, someone who works at the church in these flashbacks, or this is the grabber's abusive father. Or maybe he, again, is just connected to the grabber in some other capacity. How are we going back in time to a dead man, though, and what triggers this? Now, some people think that the grabber is alive. I don't think that's the case. I think the grabber is dead, and I think the sequel is just full-on embracing the supernatural aspect presented in the original. My theory at the moment remains the same. I've talked about it in countless other videos about the Black Phone 2. Somehow, the grabber has just gone full supernatural and begins haunting Finney in some capacity as revenge for what Finney did to him at the end of the first movie, causing Finney to likely dig into the grabber's past. The flashbacks probably will come in the form of dreams Finney is having. Finney claims, or his claim to fame right now, as we saw at the end of the first film, where he had all this confidence, as he should, because he earned it. Very well done character development. His claim to fame right now is that that's the kid who killed the grabber. So maybe the grabber has plans for Finney. Think Jesse in Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I just have a gut feeling Blumhouse is going to try and create their own Freddy out of this since they couldn't obtain those Elm Street rights. And maybe what's going to unfold in the Black Phone 2 is going to be a story largely dedicated to murders happening around town. The grabber is the one being identified as the one responsible and yet there's no evidence of how that's possible other than the fact that Finney also has his nose in it so people start pointing the finger at him but it's hard to pinpoint it all on Finney because of the fact that all the evidence is still pointed to the grabber or maybe it's just going to be something overly incriminating that points everything to Finney that's what I see happening I think that's what the story will be when it comes comes or when it relates to the black phone too uh like i stated these flashbacks that we're getting going to the 1950s at this youth camp at this uh church and the stuff with the grabber as a 19 year old and damien bashar's undisclosed role as a 30 year old and going back and seeing him at that age all of that seems to be related to exploring the grabber's youth and i hope it is done in a way that doesn't put a damper on the character's mystique but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video